Hello Pisces and welcome to Appalachian Tarot. I am so glad that you have decided to join me in this, my first week of doing readings on YouTube. This is a collective reading for the sign of Pisces, primarily sun, but moon and rising. You are of course welcome here as well, as are all cross watchers. Cross watchers, sorry, let me articulate my words there. Alrighty, this is, as I said, a collective reading for the sign of Pisces, which of course means that not everything's going to resonate with you. And that's all right. It's just for another Pisces who is watching. So you take what does resonate and just leave the rest for someone else. The universe will tell you, you know, what it is that you're meant to hear and what is for someone else. And so you just trust your own intuition. We're going to begin with a Seasons of the Witch Oracle card. We are in the month of March, so I am using the most seasonally appropriate deck that is available right now, and that is the Beltane Oracle. So that is the deck we are going to be using to begin this reading, and I begin every reading that I do uh, for the collective with a Season of the Witch Oracle card. Uh, it is my favorite uh, Oracle collection. So. We are going to go ahead and shuffle until the universe tells me to stop. Sometimes that's relatively quickly. Sometimes that takes a minute. So in the meantime, you just sit here and take this chance to breathe in, breathe out, really get into touch with your Pisces energy, your intuition, your spiritual and emotional core. I want you to really work hard. Oh, here we go. Oh, good golly gosh. Okay. Um, this is the exact same card that Aquarius got in the last reading. Ribbons. For it lives in the silk of my binding, the knots in my truth, the eye of becoming, the witness swallowed in stillness. Isn't that a beautiful card? Like I said, this, this is the same card Aquarius got in the reading I just ended. Like, I already have it opened <laughs> <laughs> the book. So I guess the universe wants to double down on this message. Uh, Pisces, your keyword is awareness. That's the keyword for the ribbons card. Dear sacred soul, ribbons remind you that you already know the answer to what you have inquired about. You are connected to your situation in a way that makes it clear what your next step should be. So follow the signs, or in this case, the ribbons and allow the truth of your query to come to your consciousness. Trust in your ability to see what you need at this moment. It may be scary or require more of you than you hope, but you can move forward with the knowledge that the path is for your greatest good and will lead to your success. Additionally, pulling this card means the signs have been around you for some time waiting for you to invite them into your awareness. Be especially mindful of any colors, animals, numbers, or feelings that crop up repeatedly as they are messages from the divine guiding you to the truth of your situation. Okay, so you have to wake up that inner eye. I told Aquarius, you know, embrace their inner Luna Lovegood. You know, Luna Lovegood was somebody who was a Ravenclaw and so very much in the house of like logic and reason but she had emotional intelligence and she was intuitive and that was the intelligence that she was blessed with. Pisces, you are a water sign and so you are already, I think, innately in touch with your emotions and your feelings and you are a little bit more intuitive than many of the other signs in the zodiac. So this may be a different kind of reading for you than it was for Aquarius, but it is interesting to me. I literally just finished doing Aquarius's reading and got the same card to start with. So I am very sort of tickled by that. We're going to go ahead and go straight into a traditional Celtic cross to clarify this ribbons card for Pisces, though, and to see what it is that the universe wants Pisces to pay attention to. You know, what are we talking about? Um, what is it that Pisces hasn't been paying attention to, but that they need to? And so Pisces, while I'm shuffling this, I want you to go ahead and meditate on what it is that popped into your mind as I was reading that ribbon card. I think you already know the situation you're inquiring about and it's gonna be different for each of you. So this is telling me that, you know, this is a collective reading. Take what it is that the universe says to you 
and leave the rest. But you know what you're inquiring about. You know why you clicked on this video. So I want you to really meditate on that, Pisces, while I shuffle. Um, and I'm going to shuffle until the universe tells me not to. still shuffling and you're still meditating Pisces oh here we go okay alrighty and let's begin the Celtic cross spread with you where are you at right now Pisces the death card reversed you're resisting change or you're afraid of change you know, this is water energy, uh, Scorpio energy in particular. You feel that there is a need for change, Pisces, but you are almost... I get the feeling that you may be stuck. A, a vision of like a fish in a tank, you know, swimming in circles, unable to escape. There's a change that is needed, but it's not happening. And I don't know if it's not happening because you are resisting it or because you are trapped or you feel trapped. Whatever it is, I don't sense that you're a very happy Pisces right now, Pisces. I, I think that I'm getting that there is this possibly sadness, but it, it, it could just be frustration with your current circumstances. So let's go ahead. I'm moving this over just a little, um, but let's go ahead and see what is blocking you right now. Oh, the three of cups. Okay. Cancer energy. Again, emotions. I do see that this is something that has made you very unhappy. Um, this, the Three of Cups, is heavy third-party energy. Somebody is interfering in your life in ways that they have no right to do, Pisces. Um, I think you've also overindulged in things that are bad for you. I don't know if that's, I don't, I don't, I don't get the sense that that's like drugs or alcohol or cigarettes or even carbs, you know, I, I get the feeling that it's an overindulgence in toxic relationships, that you are surrounding yourself with people who do not make you happy or do not have your best interest at heart. There is very much this energy here of um, people like drama is the word that comes to mind. Like just petty schoolyard gossip and drama and just that kind of juvenile, immature behavior that you just need to leave behind, but you're afraid to leave it behind. You're, you're resisting the change there. But there is a situation that, and I think it involves other people. Um, I don't think this is a, a case of you being internally unhappy and afraid to do the work to make yourself a better person and to make yourself a happier person. I think there are people around you that are making you unhappy or that are bringing you down and that you're afraid to walk away from them. What's in your immediate past? Temperance. It wasn't always like this, though. You know, um, you have the temperance card here. So you were actually quite, uh, I don't want to say happy, but you were quite content you know things were in balance and now they're not um there's this feeling that something has happened recently that has uprooted your life um or changed your perspective something something sort of sudden has happened there's been a change in the dynamic here because in the past you were pretty okay with where things were you felt that everything was in alignment and in balance, and it's it doesn't feel that way to me anymore, Pisces. I don't know what this is, but I do get the feeling that in the relatively recent past, you were pretty damn content with your life, but something has happened to throw that 
uh, out of whack and you are no longer in balance. And I have a feeling this is something to do with these people here. And it could very well be, for some of you, an unfaithful partner or an unfaithful spouse that you're resisting the change to your relationship because you don't want to acknowledge the betrayal that happened with this third party here. And, you know, the ribbons card does speak to the signs being there. The writing has been on the walls. Maybe you just are not paying attention to it. Maybe you didn't want to see it. Maybe you were content instead of, maybe this is the temperance card instead of the sun card because you were content but not happy. And you were afraid to sort of look and see the reality of your situation. I don't know that for sure, but I think for some of you that is definitely the case, Pisces, is that some of you have been ignoring the signs as the ribbons card indicated um, in order to sort of keep this sort of contentment without being happy. You just didn't want to rock the boat. Let's go ahead and see what is in your immediate future if nothing changes. Five of Cups. Scorpio energy, more water. I mean, we are, I mean, golly, we have three water cards and then uh, temperance, which is fire, but to me, always does kind of read a little bit water just because of the way, I mean, if you look, the angels pouring water, standing one foot in the uh, water, one foot on dry land. Um, so there's definitely a little bit of water energy in the temperance card as well. Regardless, um, to me, this is indicating that there is something deeply emotionally troubling you. And I am getting the feeling that for a lot of you, this is some sort of relationship that is on the rocks. Um, the Five of Cups in the future, if nothing changes, indicates that things are only going to get worse. You're going to be grieving. Um, I, I do see, I mean, this is a card of not being able to see what remains because you're only focused on what you have lost. And I do, I do get the sense that, that many of you have lost something. I don't necessarily mean someone has broken up with you or divorced you or died, but perhaps you've lost that contentment, you've lost that trust, you've lost that security that you had in this relationship. And I do get the feeling this is really coming through as a relationship reading. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean romantic relationship. This could be a friendship for some of you. This could be a relationship with a relative that is now strained. I don't know for sure. Whatever it is, I do feel that there is somebody here with this Three of Cups blocking you. There is a third party energy that is affecting the situation in very negative ways and that they are working against you. But we're going to keep going. We're going to, we're going to see where this leads. What are you conscious of? Page of Pentacles reversed. Okay, um, you understand that you need to learn from the situation, but more than that, I, I'm seeing like that this is somebody you're dealing with, I, I think you've been betrayed. I really do. This is earth energy. Um, this is material realm. But I do see that you were very committed to somebody who is not committed to you anymore, that you, or that wasn't as committed to you as you thought they were, Pisces. Um, I don't get the feeling that, first of all, I think you love whoever this is, and that's making this much more difficult. And that you're able to sort of understand why they did what they did or why they acted the way they acted you you're able to rationalize that because you are empathetic you know you can put yourself in other people's shoes in a way that a lot of other signs can't but explanations are not excuses you can understand and explain someone's behavior and have empathy without excusing the bad things that they've done and to me, there is this sort of feeling that somebody has been taking advantage of you. Somebody hasn't been treating you the way that you've been treating them, and you've been treating them well. That somebody has been um, lazy in their relationship with you, or greedy in their relationship with you, and that they haven't given you the same respect that you have given them and that that has led you to this place where you are full of sadness and 
um, uh, understanding that like you're resisting a change and a rebirth and there's this sense of decay with the death card reverse that that just is is you know the death card upright is actually a fairly good card I think but reversed it's it's almost like this this change that you just don't want to happen some of you could be separating or divorcing someone that you really love and there is this sense of betrayal there and you are feeling it acutely and I'm very sorry Pisces if that is the case what is your subconscious what's really driving this situation nine of cups yeah you're in love with this person and this is your energy here. Nine of Cups is Pisces energy. Um, you were very, I mean, you were very content with the situation, as I said, and you were very, very happy with the way things were going. Your whole life has been rocked by whatever this is. But again, with the Ribbons card, the writing has been on the walls for some time. I think you just maybe haven't been paying attention. But you... You still hope that things can go back to the way they were. You're still hoping that you can salvage this situation. Um, if nothing changes, you're not going to be able to. You've got the Five of Cups here that tells me that if, if nothing changes, it, you, you, you're going to continue to be unhappy and there's only going to be failure, regret, and disappointment in your future. What I do see, Pisces, is that you are beginning to recognize that this change needs to happen, though. You're, you're afraid of it, but you do understand it because that's the death reverse card. You're acknowledging that a change needs to happen. You're just not happy about it, and you're resisting it in some way. Um, because you... Tell them I was happy and my heart is broken. Write it on the skyline. Tell them what I hoped would be impossible. That song just popped into my head. And I think that's you right now. Like, this has just completely devastated you. You were very happy. You had your dream, you know. The dream relationship, the dream life. Like, you were very happy, Pisces. And whatever the situation is... The unhappiness set in very quickly. But I do see that if nothing changes, it's only going to get worse. Let's see what your control over the situation is, Pisces. The star reversed. Okay, yeah. Um, you uh, have been very disconnected from your intuition for far too long. Um, and that is squaring with the ribbons. You have buried your head in the sand to whatever this is that's happening. And I do feel like for some of you, this is a betrayal of a loved one. Um, again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a relationship, ro a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be family. But whatever it is, it, it, there is a betrayal of a loved one here. And you have been betrayed. And it shocked you. But it shouldn't have. Because now you're looking back and you're like, oh shit, I should have seen this coming. You, you've been ostrichin. Um, and um, I think that that's very sad and that you 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 currently you know are are sort of losing your faith here um in whether or not this situation is salvageable you want it to be and that could be why you're resisting the change in the death card reverse there in your current position is because you don't believe that your relationship with this person can survive this change and you're desperate for this relationship to survive because you love this person so much with the nine of cups here which is of course pisces energy so i'm not entirely sure that you're being honest with yourself about just how hurt you are and how afraid you are and i don't think you've been honest with yourself for some time pisces but i think that the universe is telling you now is the time to really open your eyes Take your head out of the sand. What's the uh, outside influence on this situation? The world reversed. A lack of closure. Incompletion. A resistance to the end of a cycle. 
though I don't really see the world reversed as being resistance to the end of a cycle as I do the death reversed being resistance to change. To me, the world reversed really is that this cycle isn't over yet. There are still forces at work. This is still playing itself out, Pisces. The, the game isn't over yet. And perhaps you know that with this Nine of Cups here in your subconscious. Perhaps you are thinking, okay, we can make this work. There is a forgiving energy here. Like, you really want to forgive whoever it is that hurt you. But they have to meet you halfway, and you understand that. Like, they have to recognize. With this Page of Pentacles reversed here... I am getting the feeling that you understand that they have to under, they have to recognize what it is that they did wrong. I get the feeling that this person does not recognize what they did wrong, that this person is blaming you, which uh, frankly takes some takes some chutzpah because they're the ones who messed up here. I really do think they are. I don't think you did this, Pisces. I think you ignored the signs. But this is on them. But I think they're blaming you. They, they seem like a very selfish person or somebody who is operating from uh, a, an emotional immaturity that doesn't square with their age. I get the feeling that this person is younger than their years. They could be younger than you, Pisces, literally. But what I mean by younger than their years is that they might be you know, I'm going to pick a number out of my head and say they might be 30, but they're acting like they're 16. And that's that's not acceptable. Like, you're a grown-ass person. Start acting like it. Take some ownership. In Pisces, you don't have to deal with people who aren't going to own up to their mistakes. Um, in fact, if they don't own up to their mistakes, if nothing changes, you're just going to be filled with more regret and sadness, loss, Grief. I mean, that Five of Cups there is, is jarring. All right, let's see what your hopes and fears of this situation are, Pisces. The Emperor reversed. You're afraid that nothing's going to change. Um, I do get the, the feeling that there is, if not an age difference between you two, certainly a maturity difference. Um, you are afraid... I, I get the feeling that you're afraid of asserting yourself because you're afraid of coming off as... Um, too aggressive or too domineering or too uh, possessive. Um, like you're trying, like a control freak. Like you're, you're afraid of coming off as a control freak. But I don't think you should be. I think someone needs to take control of this situation. Because I'm getting the feeling that this situation is out of control right now because this other person has been allowed to run roughshod over you because you've been ignoring the signs that this person has been treating you badly. Um, you're beginning to become aware of that, Pisces, but I'm concerned that you're still afraid of being perceived as the bad guy or the villain or of being perceived as a killjoy or of blowing things out of proportion or of trying to control this person and it's 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 not about controlling this person it's about standing up for yourself and asserting the fact that you are worthy of respect you are worthy of being treated with decency and kindness and compassion you are worthy of having your needs met in ways that I don't think that they have been met. And you are a co-equal in this relationship. And this person has been treating it as though you are expendable. And you are not expendable, Pisces. You are not expendable. You are the emperor. Just right now, you're the emperor reversed, which means you're afraid of being seen as the emperor. But you know what? I think one of you desperately needs to take control of this situation. And I think that has to be you. And the universe is telling you with the ribbons card up there, look, you haven't been paying attention to what's been going on. And now is the time for you to wake up, open your eyes, and take a good hard look around. Because this is not a tenable situation. You have to change this, Pisces. And I don't see that this other person is going to change their behavior without you taking the initiative uh, to ultimately change the dynamic of this relationship. 
And I do get the feeling that it is a relationship you're ready to fight for. And I believe that you should probably fight for it. I mean, obviously, if the person was emotionally or physically or sexually abusive to you, you should not. You should run and, you know, if you need, report it to the authorities. But I don't get the feeling that this person was was abusive. I get the feeling that this person was just selfish. Um, possibly they cheated. Possibly it was an emotional affair. Possibly this has to do with a friend or a group of friends. Maybe they're spending too much time with their friends. Maybe they're spending too much time partying. Maybe they're, you know, what is it? Sundays are for the boys. Is that what that, that barstool people say? Maybe they've had too many Sundays with the boys and they need to like come home and be with their wife or their husband. I, I don't know exactly, but I do get the feeling that there are other people influencing this situation that is causing this page of pentacles here, who is your conscious, but to me this represents not so much you being conscious of yourself, but you being conscious of the other person. And I think that the page of pentacles in, in this case is representing the other party, and you know, your, your partner or the person you're in relation with, whether it's a family member or a friend. But this three of cups here is representing some third party energy that is really screwing this relationship dynamic up. And that you need to go ahead and um, address that head on. And you haven't been. I don't think that you've been as assertive as you should be. I think that you've been very afraid of coming off as being controlling or being the bad, the, the villain in this situation uh, with this emperor reversed here. And I don't think that you should be. Um, I would also point out, though, I mean, you know, I, I do this from time to time when there's a lot of major arcana in the reading. At least half this reading is major arcana. We'll see when I flip that final outcome card. It could be tilted one way. It could be tilted to where most of the reading is Major Arcana. But at least half of it is. You've got the Death card reversed here. You've got Temperance here. Then you've got the Star followed by the World, followed by the Emperor, all of them reversed. So this, is, this to me indicates that, you know, because it is Major Arcana, this is a momentous moment in your life, Pisces. That this relationship is divinely ordained. That doesn't mean that it's going to last, but it means that you were meant to meet this person. I do get soulmate energy here. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to be with this person forever, but I do get the feeling that the universe meant for the two of you to come together and that this moment is very, very pivotal in the trajectory of that relationship, that this moment is make or break. You know, this is not something that... This is not small potatoes. Whatever you're dealing with here, I am getting a very heavy energy. Like this is this is incredibly important. And you waking up to be able to start paying attention to the signs and to access your intuition, I think, happened at just the right time. There's still time to salvage whatever this is, but it is going to require work. But that is a two-way street. You cannot do this on your own. This person, this page of pentacles, and again, I know that's your consciousness, but I really think this is your consciousness recognizing sort of the, 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 may I say fuckery? <laughs> I try not to curse, but the fuckery of this other person. I mean, I, I don't know another word. This person has not been treating you the way that you should be treated. Let's see what's in the final outcome here. You know, the most likely outcome. The king of swords. Head over heart. Okay, Pisces. Um, the good news is I'm seeing that there is some honesty coming here and that there's some communication. And I feel like the two of you have not, or this could be more than two people, but I really get the feeling that we're dealing with a, a duo, like a, a, a dynamic of two here with some third-party energy thrown in with that Three of Cups. But I do see that you guys are going to start uh, communicating uh, perhaps more clearly and more honestly than you have in the past. Um, there is a sense of firm but fair, like, you know, this is of setting boundaries, of setting rules, of, of, of having a sort of operating from a common understanding of what the relationship is supposed to be. It's just firm but fair. Like, you're, you're willing to forgive, but there has to be 
an acknowledgement of the wrong that has been done here. Head over heart to me tells me that you are beginning, you know, that's what the card says. And I think that's a really good way to sum up the King of Swords. But I don't think that means necessarily head at the exclusion of heart. I think it just means you're, you're, you understand that, like, despite how much you love this person down here, that they have messed up and that they have to change. Things have to change. You're resisting that change right now. You're scared of it with that death card reverse, but you do understand that it has to happen. Um, this is immediate future, to, I'd say, within the next three months. If things do change and this person does start to accept responsibility for their actions and the pain that they have caused you, which you need to... You know, you've got the ribbons card here, and that's where the ribbons card comes in, I think, is that you know the answer here, and you know what you're looking for. You will know the signs that they are changing and that they are sincere about changing and, 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 and modifying their behavior so that they no longer hurt you the way they have. Please pay attention to that in the coming months. If they are not showing signs that they are learning and growing and changing, then you may need to consider walking away as much as you love this person. But if they are showing signs that they are changing and that they are sincerely trying to make the relationship work with you, then forgiveness may be something that is in the cards in the future. Um, I do see that there is this sense of almost like a, a, a paternal figure with the King of Swords, that is, again, firm but fair comes to mind. Like, you know, this is somebody who is very stern, and I get this very stern energy of being like, mm. but there's also a, a, a sort of forgiveness. Um, do you like my growl there? Mm. But, you know, of being very much this just figure where it is compassionate punishment in a way although I don't think punishment is the correct word but yeah of you starting to stand your ground and assert your own worth while also being ready to forgive and to move forward as long as this person starts to respect you the way that they should all right Pisces let's see what's on the bottom of the deck I don't do this all the time but I am curious page of swords yeah okay um, to the bottom of the deck to me is what we can't see. And what we can't see here is um, that you have this uh, new way of communicating here, that you have this desire to, to, to open lines of communication. I really think the two of you have just been sort of out of sync with each other for a while. Now, there's this third-party energy here, and that, that, that does concern me. And this person hasn't treated you the way they, they should be treating you. But I do wonder kind of if that is because you haven't necessarily always articulated your needs and wants. I, I do think that there is, with that death card reversed, you've been resisting some change. I do think that you have not necessarily done a great job of self-advocating here. I do get the feeling that that is going to change as you are starting to access your intuition and you are starting to turn inward and find your own self-worth. So that's a good thing. Um, let's go ahead and end with a uh, Oracle of Delphi card. I like to end my readings with these cards for two reasons. One is because they tend to be very optimistic, and I like to end readings on an optimistic note when possible. Uh, the second reason is they're just pretty to look at. I, I really resonate with the art. I just think they're really, really beautifully done, so I like to share them with y'all. And so that's what we're going to do here. Um, I'm going to shuffle until the universe tells me not to, as I always do. But Pisces, this has been a really, I think, uh, ultimately a good reading. Um, it's telling you to trust your intuition, to look inward, to follow the signs that the universe has given you. You're going to know if this person has changed or not, and that if this situation is still worth your time and energy. Uh, you have been ostriching for a while, but uh, you aren't anymore. And I think that that is incredibly... Um, you deserve to be commended for that, for taking your head out of the pocket. It's not always easy to do. All right, we have our card. What does the universe want to say to us? What is that card? Oh, Dreamweaver. Emergence. Wish, visualize, and conceive. Okay, this card came up earlier, too, for someone. I can't remember whose. Look, um, I, I, I see this as you not necessarily emerging, but actually turning inward, and in the way emerging as a spiritual being. 
Um, I think that you need to start to think about what it is you really want out of this relationship or out of this situation. And again, I asked you to meditate on that when I did the ribbons card. So go back to that. Whatever you were thinking about when we read the ribbons card from the book, from the Season of the Witch book. That's probably what this reading was about for you. So I want you to go ahead and focus on that. Um, look, you are the author of your own destiny ultimately. And you get to decide whether or not this relationship or this situation still speaks to your soul and is still providing you with everything that you need. Um, but I want you to really sort of establish some boundaries and, and state your needs clearly to whoever this is you're talking about. You know, really do some deep thinking about what it is that you want and need out of this relationship. Visualize it, conceive it, and then um, go to this person, whoever this is, whether this is a partner or a spouse or whether this is uh, a family member or a friend and say, look, you have not been treating me the way I should be treated and my needs have not been met and I need you to, to fight for this relationship with me. What is that song? Cheryl, Cheryl Cole, uh, Fight for This Love, just came to mind. Um, I won't sing it, uh, mostly because I can't remember the exact lyrics, but go listen to that song, Fight for This Love. Um, there might be something there for some of you. I'm going to go listen to it afterwards. Um, I didn't say this at the beginning, but I'm actually uh, 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 an Aquarius Pisces cusp. I identify more with Aquarius, but sometimes uh, the Pisces uh, side of me uh, takes charge. So I will listen to Cheryl's song. I haven't heard that song in a long time anyway. And I hope you will too. And I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please give me a like uh, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss uh, next week's reading. Alrighty, uh, Pisces, good luck with this person and uh, put yourself first. You are an amazing, amazing being, Pisces. Alright, bye-bye.